Well, what did you learn about your team last year? And, and obviously there's going to be some new faces this year going forward to the new year. Yeah, like the first thing I learned is we're a lot better when we're healthy. Uh, but excited for this year. Uh, you know, P.J. Hall is an outstanding player, and, and I think he's going to have a huge year. Uh, need to get him healthy, which we've, you know, he's had surgery. Just got to be patient with him and let him take the time to get himself the way he needs to be for a really good season. You know, excited to have Hunter Tyson back. I think he's uh, an important piece. You know, it was really hard for us when we lost him. I think he's one of those players that points and rebounds are important with the way he plays, but just his leadership and smarts, basketball IQ, savvy, whatever you want to call it, just a guy that knows how we like to do things and our team plays better when he's out there. And, and that was certainly evident last year. And, and I think the next guy is really Chase Hunter. I think those are the three guys. Chase Hunter, you know, emerged last year as the player that we thought he would be and, you know, gained a lot of confidence and played very well. It was a double-figure score at the end of the season and, and look for him to, you know, play a bunch of different positions and just be a very important piece to our team. Brad, you guys announced the signing of Brevin Galloway today. Yeah. What, what do you like about the fit that he brings your team in? What kind of role are you expecting him to carve out in this? Yeah, so, you know, Brevin, first of all, to get a kid who's from our area right there in Seneca Anderson to, to want to come to Clemson and play at Clemson, I think that's something that uh, is always exciting. A kid who's going to bring enthusiasm and, and energy to your program. Uh, you know, he's an experienced player. He's, he's played in ACC. He's... He's played a bunch of, you know, 100 plus college games. Uh, he could really shoot the ball. Uh, I think he can play a couple different guard positions. He's just, you know, he's a guy that you can play with a lot of different people and who brings a ton of experience. So it, it's a great addition for us. Do you envision him being somebody that can bring the ball up the court? I know you guys have a Yeah, at times. Yeah, absolutely. I think he can, he certainly can do that, and, and, you know, if we need him to, to help handle the ball, take pressure off our guards. And, you know, I just think his basketball IQ is very good. And, and uh, I think that'll, that'll really help us poise. Obviously, you know, you know for, he had a relationship with Earl, you know, yeah. high school and stuff like that. I guess, you know, when did you first meet him, and then how soon after he hit the portal did you reach out? Um, yeah, you know, it's kind of a unique situation. He played with Earl for six years, right, off and on. He's, he's really, it's been hard for Brevin. I think he's, you know, he got redshirted just as a kid coming out of high school. You know, uh, a little bit like we did with Josh Beadle, just a guy that you just want to mature a little bit, get a little bigger, stronger. And then he had two major injuries that, you know, really, you know, sidelined his career a little bit. But uh, bouncing back, I think he's, you know, going to be as healthy as he's ever been, uh, which is exciting for us. Uh, I think it was just kind of a situation where at this point in his career, the chance to come home was something that he was really excited about. And, uh, you know, we made contact with him shortly thereafter and, and it just seemed to work out and, you know, happy that he's going to be a Tiger. Anybody you else? and uh, Dabo have a great relationship up on yeah. the stage here. What's it like after two years of not being yeah. able to do this to, to get back to that? You know, it's fun. Dabo and I certainly have a lot of fun together and, and you know, we've been doing this a long time now. My 13th year here at Clemson, and I think we really enjoy being out on the circuit together. You know, I'm one of the few guys that'll bust his chops a little mm -hmm. bit, and then he gives it right back to me. So we, we just have a good time. We just want we just want the fans to enjoy it. You know, certainly we're going to talk about our teams, but as, as much as anything, we also want to just have some fun and, and try to create a couple laughs and make sure everybody enjoys the enjoys the night. So it's good to be back out with him, and uh, you know, we're going to have a good good time today. How big will Brevin's presence be for a guy like Josh Beadle? And what did you guys see just from, from Josh in the practice court? Obviously, yeah. you saw a little bit more than we could. Yeah, I think Josh is a good player. You know, I mean, it's because of the transfer portal right now, to be honest with you, you don't really need to redshirt kids. You can play them or whatnot, and then if it doesn't work out, they're going to leave. You just get somebody new. Um, so I think when you redshirt somebody, it's really a sign that you're – you believe in them and you think they have a chance to be a good player down the road. They just need a little time and we just felt like Josh needed to get stronger, probably grow up a little bit, mature, just, just get a little bit older and his best basketball's, you know, ahead of him. He's he's gonna be a good player at Clemson.